Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of the Shadar Show. <sighs> Sasuke, Sasuke, Sasuke. He is the epitome of a person that just don't give a fuck. I mean, he did not give a no fucks. Like, it was like Serrano would do a Mal Crescent. And, and he, Sasuke like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And this Mal Crescent, you, you actually added a fuck and I didn't get one. It was just like that, like... Seriously, he did not give no type of fucks of what she was talking about. She like, daddy, da 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 da. Why, why um, why who this lady at? at why he was there for us? This have nothing to do with you. Anyway, Sasuke. Anyway, Naruto. You remember the time we fought Cargo? I'm like, God damn. You know what happened? It happened like right after that. But the thing is, it's just it's a way it transits to her just running off due to the fact that Sasuke ain't being a dick and not paying her ass no attention. That was so fucked up. Thank God he decided to not kill her. He, like he stabbed the side of the wall when he when she said Papa. He like Sorale, that you and just stabbed the wall. He was about to go for her. He was about to stab her fucking head in. Damn, he ruthless. Killing a little girl. Just scare her right in the skull and kill her ass. I'm like, damn, Sasuke, why? But good thing he realized who she was, even though he forgot her face and she's trying to figure out what's going on. Is Sakura really my mom? It, it ain't no way who this lady with the glasses. And they resemble a lot. And he just told that she ain't got, ain't got nothing to do with her. I'm like, damn. Now apparently the army that Cargill would make it, it actually was made. Or there was the biggest complaint when Naruto in like, what was the purpose of Cargill? I wanna make an army and never got the chance to do it. Usually in work of fishing with a, a villain have a motivation. They usually see to the motivation. Like for instance, Obito, he managed to do what he wanted to do. Madara ultimately managed to do what he wanted to do, and then we came to Kaguya, who failed to do what he wanted to do, which made her go down history as the worst villain. And now all the Kage is trying to figure out how they can break into people without making people who can store into a fucking panic, going ugly and insane due to the fact that some shit about to happen and say ultimate villain coming that can, who's probably might be. Even more powerful than what well, what Cargill was before. Now the villain, who could he possibly be? A lot of people said it could be Sisu. I think that is his name, Sisu Uchiha, Itachi's best friend, or maybe it might be Madara. Can anybody actually just thought about Madara? Sure, his eye closed and apparently he seemed like he was about to die, but maybe he did Iganagi and he imprinted a whole lot of siren guys with Izanami and. And Prana lost some ring guys all over his bike. Old boy got one in his fucking head, like all over the fucking place. He walk around look like Don's though. That shit crazy. So he could be anybody right now because we saw his entire faith, but still could pick who the fuck he could actually be. Hopefully he's um, a new character. It looks like they got a whole group of hunts back, Sarengan users. Because apparently somebody found Obito Lair. Who possibly would know about Obito Lair? Cause he had a shitload of Saringa eyes in that lair. And they probably imprint that in a lot of people's body. Cause come on now. Where did they find all these Saringas from? And Madara was working with Obito. But why would Madara turn himself into this monster? Maybe he made himself so deformed due to the fact that he wouldn't want to be seen. Cause nobody actually disclosed after his body. It, it has to be Madara. Cause Madara not work with Obito. And maybe one of those S2 actually took him back to Orbito Lair, thus finding the eyes, thus putting the eyes on the body, thus recreating stuff, um, or recreating his entire clan. Maybe Orbito tomorrow might be helping him out as well. Who knows? Hopefully, I'm right, or I don't know, it sounds more better than the scenes that we um, put in that everybody keeps drawing out. Hopefully, I'm somewhere in the ballpark. At least I hope so. As for. The end and everybody jumping trying to attack Sarada. I can't figure out why they want her so bad. And he better just go to this full breed Uchiha, which is Sasuke. Look like Sakura going over there too. And um he trying to attack them with Naruto sitting right there. And Sasuke right there. You got the two most powerful the, the most strongest characters in the fucking damn show. Well in the manga. 
right there. There's no way in hell they don't do anything to get Sarada. Unless this guy is really Madara. It, hopefully that is the case because he will be he'll be able to uh, take on them too. Anybody else, they gotta run because there's no way in hell they can fuck with these people at this point. Because they had a battle that was so high scale, you were like, damn, these motherfuckers are so close to being Dragon Ball Z's characters at the age of 16 or 17. I wonder what they do when they in their 30s. It's just, it's just at that point right now. So hopefully, we're going to see how strong these two are. And hopefully, this guy might end up being more dark and then they will actually disclose what happened to his body. Or he could be a dead uh, Zariah that never actually died. Maybe bad ass that was Jiraiya. Who knows? But anyways, tell you guys thank. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for supporting my channel. Make sure you guys check out the John Gray show in the description below. And have a good one. Peace out.